today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted the chart of the um, S&P cash, uh, basically same chart as the E-mini S&P. We were down there at uh, 39, I believe, no, 38.95 uh, at 2 o'clock in the morning. All of my alerts went off. My alerts went off in gold, treasury bonds, and uh, the stocks all at the same time. And I looked at it, and I saw this incredible ABCD pattern here with the most bearish news we've had since COVID, with the fact that the UBS uh, took over Credit Suisse for the uh, unadulterated price of 87 cents a share. That's Swiss franc, folks. And uh, that was the steal of a lifetime, uh, eh, almost as good as AIA back in uh, 2008. But that was another one that, you know, from $72 to 33 cents, heck of a deal. All right. Now, the thing that we have to pay attention to right now is we've got some terrible news out there, yet the market is not going down. That's a sign that some type of a bottom has been hit. And as uh, we were saying in the newsletter, if this market does not go down with bad news, then you don't want to stand in its way. And the fact that we're only down 300 points, uh, 45 points in the S&P at 2 o'clock in the morning was a surprise because I thought it would be a whole lot more than that, that we would be taking out the lows of five days ago. At that, uh, and that never that didn't happen. Also, so that was another reason to think that we're having some more of a rally, and that's that's all it is, folks. It's just a rally. We've got a lot more to go. You're going to see more of these dominoes fall because uh, there's trouble in the bond market, and of course the bonds are down quite a bit right now, a point and a half. But uh, you know they've been up really strongly for several days. And you got to sort of expect that. By the way, our guest today at the break will be Norm Winsky of Astro Trends out of Naples, Florida. Now, I wanted to share a few other charts with you because at the same time, we were making the ABCD pattern in the E-mini S&P and also the, all the other ones. All the others were doing exactly the same thing, the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones and the S&P. But look what was happening across the pond over in the UK, folks. Another beautiful ABCD pattern, just absolutely uh, as perfect as you could get. You see it stopped right at the 1.618 expansion. And from there, it really started to rally uh, quite a bit. And you know what? It's still rallying because we just made new highs on the run. So that's what was really interesting. This is what I have to show you, though, because since I was up at that time, I, I did a run on the artificial intelligence just to see what was going on in the market at that time, which happened to be about 4.30 in the morning, uh, New York time. And I'll bring this up here so you can take a look at it. The red line is what the forecast is. In other words, it's saying that around that time, the market should start to rally. And as you can see, it had this tremendous rally to the upside. It rallied, uh, I think, about pretty close to 100 hand or 85 handles or 90 handles. We're really close to it. I know that. And let's see, 85. Yeah, about 85. And it's not done yet. So let's keep a, keep a close eye on that. But at the same time, I did that. I said, well, since I'm doing the S&P, I said, we might as well put the numbers in on the gold market. And so I put the AI program in with, and you can do this yourself, folks, because it's not a, it's not a mystery. It just takes a little hard work. There was, there was the forecast said right around this time, 430 in the morning, we should start to see a little bit of a sell off in the gold market. And lo and behold, we'll bring this up here and you'll be able to see this is what happened to the gold market and we'll get it right up here. It doesn't always work that way, but when it does, gee whiz, it's really something cool to see. So that's what we're paying uh, attention to. Folks, um, the thing that is running this market and the, the market, if you want to if you want to see a market that has a potential to really explode, I don't believe it can do it. But is the is the banking index, folks? 
the banking index, if you start to look at these, uh, this is one that's it's getting ready to go uh, south because it's down another 50 percent today. This is first first republic or first yeah first republic I think is what it's called. Uh, you'll see here that uh, uh, there was no bottom here. It just kept going down. Uh, it's in the teens somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is, but I went through all of the bank stocks uh, that that uh, that were on the news, you know, and just to see you know what's been happening to them. And boy, some of them. Uh, uh, really, here's another one that's you know one of the big time banks, which is uh, Bank of America, and you'll be able to get up here and see it. It started by uh, B A P G O N E, the Bank of America used to be the Bank of Italy, and then in, when they were in San Francisco, they switched it to the Bank of America. That was in 06 or 07, I believe. I'm not sure exactly when. I wasn't trading then. Anyway, you'll see we've made new lows now. Uh, in this now, when we, if the rally, if something happens, that the Fed does something else, and basically what the Fed has done, folks, is they've gone to the banks and says, we're going to mark all your bonds to maturity, not to what the market is, or not what the face value is, it, we're going to mark them to maturity. And that means they took in, in fact, $8 trillion. That's basically what they're guaranteeing. If you want to look what the repos are doing, it looks like two flagpoles, three flagpoles, four flagpoles stacked together. Something is really wrong, folks. So be really careful out here because these things, boy, when they turn and when they turn, they're going to be, and I, you know, today's nothing. They're just having a really nice bounce from an oversold situation. But here's one of the better stock, here, one of the better bank stocks. And uh, this one is J.P. Morgan, named after the financial wizard of the 1900s. You'll notice here, in fact, his birthday is coming up here on April 17th. And the only reason I know that is twofold. One, it's R.S. Crawford's birthday. And also, if you ever go to the, the Morgan Library, they're on 42nd, uh, right off of uh, Rockefeller Center to his library there, which was, was the family mansion. You'll see his incredible library that has a celestial season, uh, see, uh, celestial, um, uh, <laughs> what do you call a roof? <laughs> Ceiling. And then when you, when you go in and look at it, right over his birth sign, which was April 17th, was his elevator, secret elevator that took him up into his living quarters. So it's a really incredible thing to go see. He was one of the largest collectors of Bibles. He, he, they, well, they still have them there, but boy, he had them before the, uh, even before the press, before the Gutenberg press came out, he had handwritten Bibles that were they're absolutely priceless. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, uh, he, he was a very colorful person and have a lot. Now, here is Citibank, folks. I bring this one up because Citibank, I don't know if you know this, in order to keep it trading and so that people could buy it, they had to do a 20 to 1 reverse split, I believe. So what you're looking at here is one twentieth of what that stock used to be worth about 10 years ago. So that's not what we call a long-term investment. But you can see these things have been going down for several years. It's not a mystery that, you know, Credit Suisse went under. You know, it, it made its high uh, back in uh, 2021, and it's been down every single month since that time. Somewhere along the line, it crossed that 200-day moving average. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the E-mini S&P uh, just using a, you know, 30-minute chart so you can see the swings that we were uh, watching. Uh, you'll notice the, the big move up. Uh, last night and then uh, the sell-off and then it comes down and makes a perfect ABCD pattern here at 4.30 in the morning and since that time it's been running like a deer through a forest being hunted by one of the folks that has the bows and arrows. Anyway, if you look at that black line here, folks, this was the real tip-off that we were getting ready to go a great deal higher, and that's when the market had the big run-up and then pulled back right to the 382 retracement, and then you can see here we're getting ready to break out to the upside. Somewhere we're going to get up into that uh, 400 level again. How much higher, I don't know, but stop and ask yourself the question, folks. With news as bad as this could possibly be, with liquidity crisis and banking and stuff like that, this you don't want to stand in front of it. You got bad news and good action, and you know you don't have to be a rocket science to to, to figure that one out. Now I wanted to show you another one that was very interesting because this was the one that I liked the best. Ended up uh, this was my losing trade on the day, and that's because I bought it a little too soon, and then uh, I was in other things that were working really well. Uh, if you remember, Bill Meridian said the short bonds, we had a beautiful three-drive pattern up there in the bonds. Uh, they broke two and a half points today. But look at this beautiful pattern right here at this 1.618 expansion here on the oil there at 64.85. Now, I bought it at 65.42. Uh, I lost my 40 points. And then what I did, I bought it in here, and then when it started to break, I was looking at other things. And so I didn't go back and look at it when it was making this pattern right here. And what it was doing is it was taking these lows out from way back here, which there was nothing there. After it went down and made new lows, boom, and now you know, we're really screaming uh, to the upside. We're up over $2 a barrel from that low. And I mentioned several times uh, in the newsletter and then also in the videos that I send out that watch this one really closely because we're at, we're at major support. It's got to hold this level or we'll be looking at $59 a barrel in oil. And we could still be looking at $59 a barrel in oil without too much trouble. Now, I'm going to switch gears here for just a second and talk a little bit about something I know very little about, but I do know charts. 
And I don't know if you guys believe whether this stuff is any good or not, but it's in the news all the time. But it follows patterns because you've got millions of people that are out there trading it, and that is Mr. Bitcoin. Uh, there's uh, there's where the top was here, folks, right there at 68,000. There was the first 382 retracement, and there was the pullback. And look at the well, what we hit last night, and, and again today, was 28,300. I think the high was 28,400. I don't know where it is now, but it's got to close above 30,000 for it to break through this level. But if we don't get above this 28,000 and change level here, uh, this is going to be uh, very, very interesting because everybody's talking about this cup and handle pattern. Uh, I don't know much about couple, cup and handle patterns other than <laughs> the guy that owned Investor's Business Daily uh, is my uh, daughter's main squeeze. Anyway, let's keep an eye on this because I don't trade it. I have don't even know what it is. I know that it's in the market a lot, but or in the market news a lot, but I really don't know uh, a whole lot about it. So don't ask me. I just know that it's a, a cryptocurrency. It has to do with blockchain, which is the real key to the things that we're dealing with here. And that's uh, that's the main thing. The other thing I wanted to mention is uh, the uh, I wanted to show you this is something right out of the Elliott Wave, just to show you what's going on here with the uh, Credit Suisse, because remember, that's the second largest bank in Switzerland, folks, and they were told to take this over. The president of Switzerland was on Bloomberg uh, this morning early, and he was saying it was a good deal for everybody. Well, not for the people that own the bonds for Credit Suisse. This is what happened to the credit default swaps when they knew the debt was going to fail, folks. Uh, people buy these because they are taking protection in case there is a default, and that's exactly what has happened. The stock was trading for 84 cents just a little while ago, and that and the bonds uh, that they had were basically 17 billion were gone. Now that's nothing like what happened with Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns and all of that other stuff. But if this thing keeps catching on, we could be looking at something like that. But right now, that's not going to be happening right now. But that doesn't mean that it can't happen. It just means it's not happening right now. So pay attention to that. Now, the gold market. Last night, the gold market, believe it or not, opened a half a dollar higher at the level of uh, 1994. It backed off about 20 bucks and then ran all the way up to 2015, okay, and then dropped $45. Now, folks, I'm going to show you what, just to show you how, how small amount $45 is. I'm going to bring this up here. This is a major breakout in the gold market, folks. We had a huge increase in open interest on uh, Friday with uh, you know the prices breaking out, uh, 18,000 contracts uh, increased. Uh, they opened slightly higher here, sold off a little bit, and then had a big run up, and then a $45 break. So what do you do next? Well, the thing that I would do is I wanna see how it handles the 61% retracement, if it gets, excuse me, the 382 retracement, if it gets up here around this uh, 8 to uh, 1980. And that's pretty much it. Oh dear, I think I got a major, oh, oh, uh, hold on, <laughs> just a second here. I think I got a mess up here. Uh, Bill Meridian thinks it's today and it's tomorrow. Oh, I hope I did this right. I tell you, folks, I have been um, – I was up a lot last night only because uh, so many opportunities were happening that you you got to dance with the girl that brings you to the dance, and it happened to be at 2.30 in the morning. So that's basically what I was looking at. So hopefully, uh, you know, these things are going to be going. The bonds are breaking again now. We're almost below 3,100. That We had a high of 33 and change. That's down more than two handles. Uh, from where we were and uh, had a beautiful, uh, if you were watching the 382 patterns and that, and look, and, and I'll, I'll do another one with the Ural. You'll see another beautiful uh, 382 pattern in the Ural. Let me get this up here. You got to watch these folks in these strong trending markets because here again, this was right at 4.30 in the morning. You'll get a get a quick look at it. Uh, hold on just a second here. <clears throat> uh, hold on just a minute here right now. There we go. And that it is right now. Hold on one second. I need to uh, uh, let Bill know. Uh, just, uh, just a minute. <clears throat> Hold on just a minute, Bill. I'll be right. Uh, uh, <laughs>
then I'll call him. Anyway, we're going to take a break here pretty soon, and uh, I will get this all straightened up. And But tomorrow we will have Bill Meridian on, and then Wednesday we are going to have uh, Stan Harley. And then hopefully a Thursday or Friday, we're going to have Shane Smolian. He's got some really good information on stelliums. And we just had a stellium, which means, uh, you know, that uh, we've got these things working uh, all at one time. A lot of different planetary things coming up. And maybe uh, Norm will share us some information. We're going to take a break. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Norm Winsky on the line today. Norm, how are you doing? Great. Hello, Larry. Hello, Norm. Listen, you have <laughs> the core, you have the total. Uh, what do you call it? Concentration of everybody here at TFNN today. So tell us what you're looking at today, my friend. That's great. Before I jump into my uh, presentation, just want to comment on you were talking about J.P. Morgan and his interest in astrology, and he has a zodiac on the library ceiling there. And you might yep. want to, we might want to further uh, add that J.P. Morgan had an astrologer on retainer by the name of Evangeline Adams. And he attributed uh, 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 her with helping him make hundreds of millions of dollars back when that would buy you something, you know. <laughs> I happen to know the person that bought Evangeline Adams' library. Do you know that? 
Yeah, I think that was me. I think hey, I only... by golly, I think it was you, Norm. Anyway, tell us what you're looking at. Uh, what, what are you going to tell us today? All right, well, I was on your tell show folks. back on the 15th of February, way back then, you know. And uh, sorry, I haven't been on sooner. I've been busy with a lot of uh, stuff. And so, anyway, back then I forecasted we had three events, co interesting events coming. There we had the afternoon of the uh, 15th. We had Mercury apihelion. That's a Mercury's 88-day cycle. The planets go around the sun in elliptical fashion, not a circle. So there's a point where they're the farthest and the point where they're the closest. And apihelion is when a planet is at its farthest. So that's from the Greek helios is Greek for sun. So and when you have A in the front, that means a far. The opposite is para, which means close. So Mercury was happy healing as far as point from the sun. Every time we have Mercury, we look at the grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. So that would be the afternoon of the 15th. So somewhere toward the end of the day on the 15th, we'd be looking for an extreme in the markets. If we get it, then we'd be looking for a reversal. Mm -hmm. uh, the weekend of the 17th, which was a three-day weekend, we had the uh, moon's north. Uh, we had a point to the U.S. chart, and that indicates any time we have that, that I'm talking about uh, where the planets were on July the 4th in 1776 when the country was founded. Anytime we have that, we look at U.S. stocks, T-bonds, and U.S. dollar. Also over that three-day weekend, we had a new moon in the sign of Pisces, and that was at perigee, which is G is Earth. So that's when the that's about a 14-month cycle when the new moon or full moon lines up with uh, being close or far from the Earth. So there we go. Yeah, so that's a, that's called a supermoon. You know. So anyway, we have the new moon at perigee, and anytime we have a new moon, full moon, we look for at financials, grange, precious metals, and oil. And by the way, uh, the stocks potentially respond to all the events, whereas the commodities tend to be narrow filters. Let's see how it all came out. So you had the afternoon of the 15th, uh, you had the greens, so looking for a change in trend there. The greens had a little dip, a corn had a little dip there, where that green arrow is, and then it went up for a short-term low. And then we had a very nice top there on the opening, uh, the right near the opening, right after the opening of the 21st, which was the first day after the, uh, Monday holiday. And then we had a big drop in the corn. Here's the beans, did a more exaggerated form than the corn. Uh, made a low there on the Mercury Apihelion, and then we were a day early on the top there with the new moon. And then you had a big drop there in the beans. Wheat where it was not as cooperative, it dropped into the Mercury Apihelion, but then it went sideways, so you didn't really have any chance to make any money. You probably would have gotten out with a small loss. And then it just went sideways, we don't do sideways, that's a yellow box there and so we take a pass so there we go uh, here's oil dipped into the moon and if you waited a day or so the low came the next day and then it was up 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 and away in the oil so we were a day early on that here's silver that was a, a little nice top there on the silver and he took a well you might have taken just a little bit of heat there before it turned the next day and, but the actual high there, I think, was uh, the day on Monday, immediately following the, the moon. And then you had a nice dip there. And the gold was just going sideways, so that was a pass. Here's the S&P, made a top on the Mercury Apihelion. It came down into the moon, but it kept going down, so we have to take, uh, there we had two things for that window two points for that window and so that was two misses there because the S&P went lower for two more days actually it never it really didn't work out too well for the S&P uh, bonds were a bit friendlier we had the a uh, little bit of a pop into the moon there with our two points one to the US and the moon and made a little short term top there and then had a nice pullback on the bonds dollar had a dip into the moon and then up, up, and away for two points there. And then the Aussie dollar bounced up into the moon, made a short-term top there and declined. And here's your British pound. 
I was making a top there that then on the Monday the 21st and then down on the British pound. Here's the euro it had a pop up into the moon and that made a top and then a nice decline and here's your Japanese yen just going sideways so we took a pass add up the green arrows and the red arrows you get 14 winners three misses out of 19 oh, that seven should be 17 wow sorry about that anyway the math I believe is 82.35% on a commercial break I'll chuck that I think that works out to 82.35% I had a typo there on the 19 versus 17 and here we go that's, you know, that's, that's a rhythm, great, a great school rhythm that took 14 at 3 at 17. There we go. Here's what's coming up, right, immediately soon. Uh, this is the 20th of March, and we do, this afternoon we're going to have the equinox when uh, in the northern hemisphere we have spring, in the southern hemisphere we have fall, and you have equal length in night and day. And then immediately following that, and that was a big thing with Gain, the, the annual equinoxes, you know. And then uh, within 24 hours, tomorrow afternoon, early afternoon, we're going to have a new moon. Anytime we have a new moon, we'll be looking at financial screens and precious metals. So we're looking for what you want to look for is a market that's moving up and moving down. You don't want the market to go sideways because there's not, you know, it's Newton's law. For every action, the opposite equal reaction, and the opposite sideways is just more sideways, which makes it very difficult to make any money. Also, over the uh, uh, over tomorrow night, we have a Uranus to the U.S. chart, so that's U.S. stocks, T bonds, and U.S. dollar. So tomorrow's a big uh, tomorrow tomorrow night into early Wednesday should be a big change in trend window. Then the afternoon of the 23rd, that will be, let's see, that's a, is that a Thursday, 21, 22? Yeah, that's a Thursday afternoon. Uh, oh, this is a big deal here, Larry. We have a geocentric from the point of view of geos. Pluto's going to enter the sign of Aquarius. Pluto does not enter. It's a big, big cycle. 248 years, one twelfth of that comes out to roughly about, uh, I think, about 20 years to move through one sign and so this will be it's been in Capricorn now for, I think for about 15 to 20 years this will be the first time in about 248 years Pluto is in Aquarius so we're going to have a big shift in things here and because the Aquarius aspects the sign for cattle we'll be looking at which is Taurus we'll be looking at cattle also Coco and then the big, the big dog here is because Aquarius is copper that I have that capitalized for you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, talking with Norm Winsky of Astro Trans. Please continue, my friend. Thank you. I was still, when we went to commercial, I was talking about Pluto entering Aquarius. It only occurs every 248 years. You might remember the last one, Larry. And yeah, I do. I was we, trading on the Merck at that time. There you go. <laughs> go ahead, and, Norm. Uh, I'll just rattle off the different markets here. If you want to know more, give me a call. Uh, cattle, cocoa, copper is Aquarius, so that's the, the main one. And then corn, cotton, gold, hogs, sugar, tea bonds, and wheat might be affected by that. So now I got one more thing to show you. And I thought you might want to know how the February planetary index came out. Oh, sorry about that. I got, uh, I got a computer guy coming tomorrow to fix that. Uh, there we got more of that. Okay, there we go. All right. And uh, there we go. And so the blue line was forecasted back in January. And then I overlay the prices. Uh, my February went from the 6th of February to the 3rd of March. And you can see it did pretty well until like the last day. And then the train went off the tracks so on the 3rd of March. But other than that, it worked out pretty well. There you go. There's February planetary index. And here's the days across the top here. And then I overlay the S&P 10-minute bars on top of the blue forecast line, sort of, uh, kind of like Bradley, you know. But uh, my but your, yours is much different than the Bradley, though, because you've you've uh, made some pretty good refinements to it, as you've mentioned several I'd, times. I'd like to think so. I'd like to think so. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. <laughs> we have a question, Norm. Uh, okay. Once about about a year ago, you mentioned that your uncle Abe uh, Silverstein, I believe, uh, was involved with the uh, NASA. He was one of the very first people, and he he hired he Werner von Braun. One of the founding fathers. He helped form NASA. Wow, I know. I have seen some and of the awards that he got. Was, that that's then when they opened their doors on October 1, 1958. Uh, he was in charge of planning the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo programs. Wow. He also got how, NASA how, to it. Uh, how old did he? How old, how old was he when he passed away? Uh, uh, about ninety-one. Oh, he lived a really good life then. That's yeah. really great. That's good to hear. Maybe we have I, one other question from one of our listeners, and he question. said, uh, and "The question is, if you had to pick up one book to learn anything about astrology, is there one such book that he could go to to to, to find out what you know what these planets do and what they mean and stuff? Do you know of a book like that?" Uh, yeah, I have a course for that if you want to learn astrology. I use a textbook, but I also have a, a manual that goes along with to make the corrections where I don't agree with the author. So, Okay, I, <laughs> well, that makes that makes really good sense. So yeah, they should I, get in touch with you, and what would be the best way to get in touch with Norm Winsky? Uh, right now, the best way is to call me on Skype or send me an email. Okay, and, and you're giving me your email address? Could you repeat the email address for me? I'm going to get to that page in, in 10 seconds. Okay. Take your time. Here's, Take I, your time. For those who don't know, I've been doing this a long time, about 50 years. Started trading using astrology when I was in college at Indiana State University there in Terre Haute, Indiana, at Larry's hometown. Also, Uncle Abe there, he was from Terre Haute too, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, there we go. Here's my contact information. Uh, I'm here in beautiful Naples, Florida. 
you can call me at 23 if you're in the states here call me 239-216-2578 or you can email me and w-i-n-s-k-i at yahoo.com or the best way to talk to me is call me on skype for free at n-w-i-n-s-k-i underscore one looking forward to helping some of your folks Larry Norm hey listen thanks for joining us and we'll see you in 14 days when we have another full moon if you need to come on Norm for something really special you just let me know we'll we'll work you through it it's okay you've always given right. us some great dates thanks so a lot Larry watching. everybody have you a bet. great week and uh, looking forward to helping you thank you Norm Norm Winsky folk you. Astro Trends of Naples Florida Always got some great information. He's called some really major ones here. We've over some major stuff here, folks, with the equinox coming up here today, uh, the full moon tomorrow, and uh, some other stuff coming up. And, of course, Pluto on Thursday. That's a really slow-moving slow one. But, I, uh, I, you know, basically I'm an A, B, C, D type person, folks. Uh, that's the one that got me to the dance, and that's the one that I like to watch. So that's really what I'm uh, doing uh, each day is watching the ABCD patterns unfold. Sometimes they work great. Sometimes they don't work great, but they work more than they fail, and they pay off pretty good. I want to show you. Uh, this is from Shane Smolian because uh, we were chatting with him over the weekend about these dates that were coming up, being the fact that we're over these uh, really strong uh, planetary things, which are nothing more than cycle days, folks. You know, Mercury goes around 88 days. You know, Mercury, what, is uh, 255? I mean, you know, uh, no, and Mercury's 88, Venus is 255. So this is like the calendar dates of 365, which is the Earth. Anyway, when you have a lot of these lined up, these are when you have these turning dates. If you go back and look, boy, these things are really accurate. Frank Tauscher from the, floor, uh, the Super Traders Almanac, boy, he really loved that part of uh, those particular ones. He did some work himself. Uh, after uh, you know looking at my book and he was very instrumental in helping me promote my book because he liked it so much that was Astro Cycles the Trader's Viewpoint that I wrote in 1987 anyway we're watching these types of things and we happen to be over one of those uh, right now and how much it's going to be I don't know but we had one back and I'm going to bring this up here because this one I was very proud of this was going back uh, 17 years ago folks when I first started to do the show here at TFNN. Uh, this was in March of uh, 2007. I started in October of uh, 2006. This was 2009. Let's try that. I started in 2007. Anyway, uh, this is we're having a three drive to a bottom pattern here. And this was the same time the Bradley model was showing a bottom. And we had one of those stellium things where all these planets were all lined up in one or two houses. I mean, it was so lopsided that I said, wow, this has got to be something. Now, ours, this one that we're looking at is not like that. I mean, it's got, you know, like six of the planets really close, but there's a few others spread out. But it's big enough to cause something important. And look what happened. We had really bad news, and the market had some type of a bottom. This might only last for two days. I don't know. But you look at the patterns, you look at the ratios, and you try to find a spot where you can come in and, uh, you know, do okay. That's really what you're trying to do here. So I think it's important to pay attention to those things. The one that's interesting is the fact that that oil market got down there at below 65. Folks, if somebody told you two years ago when Goldman Sachs was going to tell us it was a year and a half that you know oil's going to, to going to go to 120, it was trading at 105. Okay, well now now it's at 65, and they're going to tell us it's going to go to 35. Now, hmm, there must be a message in here somewhere. So I'm still looking for a bottom here in uh, crude oil, but I'm going to have to wait a day or two uh, just to see how it all lines up. But uh, I'm, I'm waiting for that nice ABC to come in, and that's what I'm hoping to find. And when I do find it, I'm going to let everybody know, say, hey, let's take a look at crude oil. Because I tried it last night, gave him my 40 points, and then uh, the rest of it was uh, pretty good. But the bonds were really good, a beautiful a head and shoulders pattern in the bonds up at the 133 level. We put that in the video that we sent out. Sunday. I think I sent seven videos between Saturday and Sunday. Hey, let's take a break. 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years of experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of November soybeans. These are new crop beans. They're just being planted right now and they'll be harvested in the fall. You can see we have a perfect Gartley pattern forming here, a dollar and a half a bushel under where we were in December. And what we're looking at is an absolute perfect Gartley pattern. It's exactly at the 61% retracement at 1297. The low was 1296 and a half, rallied 14 cents from that level. All you do now is you put your stop two cents below that level and all you're risking is 50 cents you become a farmer for 50 bucks folks not 50 cents but 50 dollars no two cents would be a hundred dollars so you get the don't have to worry about the tractor the lease of the land only the land fertilizer hard work none of that stuff all you got to do is to put the stop in and do it now to learn how what a perfect gardley is you must measure the time between a and b to see if the number of bars down is equal to the same number of bars in the CD. I did this in the video over the weekend, and I said, gee, we've got bad news out here, but this is not gonna affect soybeans too much. And we had this in July soybeans, we had it in the November soybeans, and we also almost had it in wheat. Wheat was didn't quite make it, but uh, the order we had was to buy the November beans at 1297 and not risk more than 10 cents. Well, now you raise your stop, so you're only risking two cents. Your risk is $100. So far, you've made $500, but we're certainly looking for something a lot greater. Just on this BC move the last time, it moved uh, you know, well over $4,000 a contract. So if you're risking 
Hello, operator. $100 to possibly make 4000 This is what we call good risk reward. It's certainly better than betting on a uh, NCAA game that, uh, you know, just crazier than a than the, the March winds. So anyway, let's uh, remind that. Also, folks, white light for our good friend, David, wherever he is. God bless him. Boy, what a stand-up guy. We miss him already. And live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Building wealth. 